for numbers 18 through 19. I'm actually just going to tell you what to do and let you do. So number 18, it says the number of DJs, hours DJ practices swimming each week in competition times in the 500 meter freestyle show a correlation coefficient of negative 0.739. Based on the correlation coefficient, how would you interpret the association between practice and competition? Is it strong, moderate, or weak? What I want you to do, because we haven't really talked about it in class, it's not that complicated of a topic though. I want you to research correlation coefficient. As you're researching, you should pretty much find out that correlation coefficient, you're trying to get this number as close to one as possible. If that number, or the closer that number is to one, the stronger the correlation is. Now, in our case, it's negative. That means that our, let, our correlation is actually going down. So if we graphed it, those dots would be going down. What I want you to do is I want you to do some research and go ahead and answer A and B to the best of your abilities. Like I said, it's pretty simple. The closest that number is to negative 1 or 1, the stronger your correlation. Number 19 says, for an experiment called That's, Why, That's the Way It Rolls, Students roll a ball down an incline of varying height to measure the distance to travel from the bottom of the incline, and the following data was collected. Now, just like we did on the past couple of problems, use these, these data points, create a table in your um, calculator, and get that equation. Run the linear regression. That's what it's called, the linear regression. After you get your equation, write it in y equals mx plus b form. Then you're going to answer numbers 1 and 2. What distance would the ball have traveled if the height was 30 centimeters? Well, if the calculator is already given your equation, all you have to do is recognize, what am I going to plug in 30 for? It's telling you height, and in our problem, height is represented by x. So on this first problem, you're going to plug in 40, or I'm sorry, 30 for x. And whatever your y value is, that's what you're going to get out. Here it says if the ball traveled 120 centimeters, what is the height? So on this one, they're actually giving you the distance, which is y. So on this one, y equals 120. They want to know what the x value is. Like I said, once you have your equation, you can find these two answers. Graph it. Pull up the table. You can go to your calculator and just plug these numbers in directly for x and y. You can use System Solver. There's a lot of different things you can do on this one but figure out, to figure out the answer. 